Hey Gemini's, welcome to your reading guys. Let's jump into your person's energy, find out what's on their mind, what do they want to talk about, what are they willing to share with us this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and your connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you could check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out, see if I was able to pick up the energy there. Let's find out what's going on for my Gemini's person. Ooh, let's jump in. Let's get the current energies. What's on their mind right now? Pop. That was quick. Got a Knight of Cups. Pisces energy. Wanting to offer the heart. Take some action on offering the heart. What else? What else? Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, freedom and independence. Freedom. Building up confidence. To be, yeah, guys, I'll, I'll clarify these in a minute. So let's see what's led up to them uh, coming at us with their heart out on their sleeve. They've been emotionally <laughs> overwhelmed trying to figure out what to do, what words to say, what action to take with that one. What else? What else? Oh, pop. Ooh, they in love. They, oh. Big time, they are enchanted by you. Let's put it that way, <laughs> Gemini's, because when they hold you in that divine feminine Aries, Queen of Wands energy, that is being in love, but also overwhelmed, enchanted, like, oh my God, how did I ever land this? Ow. Might, might feel like you're a little bit out of their reach. Not good enough for you. Ooh, give me a minute. We'll clarify. Let's go ahead and jump in front of them. Let's see their desires on the outcome uh, for this energy. Ooh, I'm, 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 I keep looking down at that nine of coins of the confidence. Hold on, guys. Ow, ten of wands. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes. And... Empress, ooh, wanting to give birth to this. Mm, let's go ahead and clarify the Empress card. Pop. Oh, yeah. They definitely want a tangible relationship, something we can build on together. They don't, they don't, they're not just, you know, lusting after you. No, that that's a big part of it, though. Don't get me wrong. This person really wants to build a life with you. To start out building with you and wants the opportunity for that. Let's go ahead and clarify what they're so emotionally overwhelmed with over here. I just feel like they they've been going rounds and rounds with uh, trying to figure out what to say, what to do, that kind of thing. Ooh, down fire, down fire, trying to build confidence. Uh, Leo, King of Wands, dang guys, they're, they're bringing it in as, you are a hot couple. That is some good stuff going on between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Very creative couple, also, uh, creative people. Ooh, they, they definitely know what they want. It's unusual to get, get that Leo overwhelmed by emotions. See what else? Yeah, they are. Oh my God! They would normally come across as extremely confident. Uh, the lovers card that's bringing in a Gemini energy. <laughs> Gemini, we are talking to you. But this person would definitely be confident. They're really wanting a commitment. They want in a deep connection with us. Love is in the air, big time, big time. They might be coming across as trying to appear as confident, but on an emotional level, they're all over the place. Coming in on that Queen of Wands. Ooh. Two coins change. Hold on. Tell me more about that, too. Oh, pop. We're getting two on it. World card. Tying up loose ends. Successful endings. And freeing ourselves from something that was toxic. Ow. Okay, so no wonder, no wonder that they're over a little bit overwhelmed because this this would be saying that you're coming out of a a connection or or a, just a situation where you're off balance a little bit, uh, transitioning a change, uh -huh. moving into a new phase, and freeing yourself from something that was just not not good for you, toxic. But yeah, 
So no wonder they're a little overwhelmed of what should I do? Am I moving too fast? Am I moving too slow? If I don't move quick enough, if I don't say something quick enough, somebody else will get them. That kind of thing. Let's see the Knight of Cups energy. Clarify that Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. So pop. Dude, they very... Oh guys, that... Mm. They an emotional mess. Yes, they are. <laughs> Page of Cups. And they're drunk in love with you. Drunk in love. All logic is going out the window for them. See the Nine of Coins that kept drawing my attention. Tell me about that Nine of Coins. Your Sun card. Wanting to reveal what? What? Ooh, Judgment. Rebirth. Oh, Phoenix Energy. Ooh, and Three of Coins. Guys, okay, so with this one, let's slow it down just for a minute, Gemini's, because we got you coming out of a, you know, a situation over here that wasn't good for you. You're, you're trying to balance and acclimate changes in your life from the person's standpoint. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they're coming on too strong or if they're coming on too slow or what. They they just can't read the energy because they're drunk in love. But with this one, what, what they really want to reveal to you is that they're successful. They can handle money. They know how to take care of business, resources, things like that. They're confident in that area when it comes to um, money finances, resources, things like that. This person wants to reveal that to you. They don't know what your judgment would be of them if they walked in and said, I'll give you anything you need because <laughs> they're serious about it. I mean, if, if you need financial help, this person would be willing to step in. But they're worried about you looking at them like, nobody does shit like that for free. <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, so, yeah, this person wants to offer a lot t of tangible help to us, but they don't know how to actually express that, reveal it to you. That uh, if you're going through times of lack or need or just something, need help somehow, they're there for you. And they feel like if, if they, you know, they don't know how to express that to you. Without coming across as something wrong, <laughs> something's up, there's some motives to it. Let's see the Ten of Wands here. Ooh, patience, patience. Oh, yeah, this person is, like I said, they're willing to take on a leg. They have got determination. Ten of Wands has you determined not to stop to persist with something. And this is a patience to uh, invest time and energy into it. Let's see uh, what's coming in on the Empress, the glow up energy and an opportunity. Let me help you out if I need to. I don't mind <laughs> bringing in that earth energy, guys. Oh, they're battling with it. Hold on. Hope for the future. Yes, building faith for the future. And for Pentacles, they don't want to lose the connection and they don't want to overwhelm you. What's on the bottom of the deck? Let's see it. Oh, God, they're overthinking everything. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Bittersweet Endings. Uh, their monkey brain chatter is just stealing the joy and happiness from them. And they're at a crossroad. They don't know what to do. Ooh, wish fulfillment. When They're true wishes, guys. I don't know how else to put it, Gemini's. This person wants to lavish you. They want to throw money, something tangible at you that you they know you probably need. But they feel like it's going to come across as there's hidden motives and cause issues in the way you see them or judge them. What's up under that wish card? Am I moving too fast? Mm-hmm. Ooh, and Eight of Cups. Turning point. Ow, turning point. That might be your energy of you walking away from something that's been toxic and trying to balance into that. But like I said, the uncomfortable, and now we know why the person would choose to come, you know, speak it through a card reading to you because I don't know how they would face you with it of, let me help you. Let me throw some 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 riches at you and help you out here. I don't want you in you know stressing and, and and worrying things like that. That's not helpful when I can step in and help you, but they don't know how you 
would see that, how you would judge them on that. Would you be suspicious of them? Would you think you owed them something back when this person really just wants to lavish you? Um, and they probably do. They probably hope, you know, it would give you the sign, the clue. They're, they're there for you. Yes. <laughs> Let's get on talking, guys. Let's let them choose two decks to talk from. Talk to us. Talk. Ooh. Gemini's y'all are getting the roses, the light side of the rose deck. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that one. I don't know why I always do that. I don't expect it. Maybe I shouldn't expect nothing. Gemini's person, talk to us. Pop. Guys, y'all see that? You are the love of my life. Here we're getting to. I wish you could see how beautiful and amazing you truly are. You are what has been missing in my life. You're my paradise in heaven. If you only knew how much I love you. My love for you will never die. I need you here with me. Nothing compares to you. You bring me to my knees. I never thought I could feel this way for anyone. Somehow I will make the impossible possible. You mean everything to me. I melt every time I see your smile. Is there anything else? Last shuffle. Yep. You are what I can't live without. I can't get enough of you. Ooh. I don't know why, but I always doubt your love for me. The moment I saw you, I knew I was going to fall in love with you. I would give anything if I could just hold you. Oh, Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see where they're going next. Closing messages, guys. Closing. Ooh, guys, y'all getting it on the small deck behind me. Victoria's Love Oracles. Ooh, okay. Gemini's person. Talk to us. I'm afraid to get close to people. Don't forget about me. I've liked you for a really long time. I think you're very talented. I don't know what to do. Another shuffle. Anything else? Last one. Yep, we got more falling out, guys. I don't feel ready. My intentions can be selfish at times. And last one, guys. Every song reminds me of you. Oh. Gemini's, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.